Hi, I'm Sean. And I'm Jen. And today we are going to take you through some seed starting basics with uh, the seed trays that we use. Uh, they're from Charles Dowding, designed by Charles Dowding. And, uh, but before we do, uh, we've got something to show you. Uh, we did some, some pretty yeah. Yeah, some we fun think videos. Gonna make that. Uh, so take a look. Up one of these flimsy 72 cell trays. It's not like I have any other options. See, babe, they're. I mean, babe, you show me a better option and I'll buy it. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> that is a lot better. Okay. Um, babe. These seed trays really are sturdy. I know. I wonder how sturdy. Babe, check this out. Nothing. Babe, check this out. It's amazing. It's still perfectly fine. I mean, I can stand on these things and I weigh like 180 pounds. Okay, 210. Still good. Let's do this. Still good. Hope you liked that. We had a great time making it. And now, so let's get into a few, like I said, seed starting basics. Step one is uh, getting the soil right. So you can kind of see that as I squeeze this together, it, it falls right back apart. I want it to, f to hold together a little bit more than that. So I'm gonna add some water and then I'm gonna mix it in really well. Why do you like gardening? Um, I don't know. It feels a little artistic, like it's a creative process. You feel like you're part of, you know, you put a tiny seed in somewhere and it becomes this giant plant. It is almost there. You see it had a, a little bit more spring than I want, so I'm going to do just a bit more. But you'll get the feel for this as you've done it a couple times. Um, and then I think that's going to be good. It's a bit like making dough. Sometimes you can't really sort of explain it you just gotta do it yeah i mean it's it's it. a bit of a sight it's a feel thing but it's also a sight thing you know you can i think this will help people understand what i'm looking for i want it to hold its shape when i do that and that's going to allow it to compress well in the seat tray okay so now that we have our soil the moisture content where we want it and we're happy with it uh, it's time to fill a seat tray I'm only going to fill one for you. It's a pretty simple process, but there's one thing I want to focus on. So as I come in, you know, once it's full, the, the tendency may be to stop right there. I am going to then take the time to press these things down. You can do it a couple different ways. Uh, I don't have another one, but you can press it down like this with another seed tray. You can press it down with your fingers. You can take a whole nother 60 cell tray and put it on top. But you saw what I just did there. I pressed that down. I got a good compression in there. I don't want an air pocket to be trapped and I wanna make sure that the soil is all the way down to the bottom of the tray and make sure it's nice and packed. So I should be able to do this with the soil without it falling out. And I should, I missed two completely, so. Or these bottom ones, so. Just pay attention and make sure that you've got consistent soil compaction across the entire tray, that you've pressed everything down Alrighty, man, I made a mess. I'm glad I'm doing it outside. Okay, there it is, simple enough. Now, this is a 60 cell tray. Uh, this one comes in a 30 cell size and a 15 cell size that I already have these beautiful kaleidoscope jewel tomatoes. Look at that, aren't those beauties? Kaleidoscope jewel, that's the type of tomato I plant just because I want to see what it's going to be. <laughs> that sounds awesome. 
once I've got my moisture content right, and, or I've got my soil, my moisture content right, and I've got the right amount of compaction in my tray, I'm ready to put my seeds in. It's relatively simple. Uh, sometimes you're gonna have one seed per tray, depending on what you're doing, you may be multi-sowing. There's a lot of detail that we won't get into. Check the back of the package, see what it recommends. But now you're ready to go ahead and put your seeds in the tray. Now, the moisture content right here is good because we just did it, but before too long, it's gonna dry out. And so the next thing that we're gonna be concerned with is how we're gonna water our trays. We do a process called bottom watering. And bottom watering means just what it sounds like. We water from the bottom. So we're using these green bottom watering trays and they have these kind of fins on the bottom, which is, which is pretty important that actually lift up the tray. So as you can see, I have filled it beyond this fill line here. Those fins are gonna do a couple things. When I'm bottom watering, so I place it in like that, they're gonna hold that tray up so that it's gonna be in contact with the water. We need water in contact with the bottom of the tray. And then we would allow the soil to, to wick up water until we begin to see moisture at the top level of soil. Again, this one we already moistened, so it's, it's not gonna show us a major difference as it wicks up, but if the tray got a little bit dry, it totally would, you would see the difference. When you're done watering, when the soil has wicked up the water, you gotta get it out of that tray. What we want is no water or anything else in contact with the bottom of these, uh, of these cells. So, what we do is we take another tray like that, and again, the fins come in handy and we're able to put our tray directly on there so that there's always an air envelope underneath it. And what happens there is called air pruning. When the, when the roots get to the bottom of the cell, instead of dropping a long tap root, they'll air prune themselves and create a nice uh, sturdy root ball for really easy extraction. When it's time to take things out, it's gonna look something like this. And uh, it is a very simple process, even with me, with a little bit larger fingers, I can easily get like a pinky in there and I can very easily take these out of there uh, without doing any damage to that root ball. You can see it's nice and compact, a little bit fell off the top. But for the most part, this is gonna be able to go into the soil with very little transplant shock, which is super important. It's part of the whole process. It'll save you a week on your gardening season because your plants aren't trying to recover for a week. These trays are available in a 60 cell size, a 30 cell size, a 15 cell size and then something separate from that line is the 40 cell and these have a, a larger uh, individual cell size and they are great for things that are a little bit bigger like broad beans or something that's going to have a, a larger uh, leaf canopy like a squash or a cucumber that's going to set large leaves and leaves a little more space or they're also good for potting up so there you have it i hope you found this uh, useful to you i hope you have wonderful seed starting success whatever system you use as long as you're gardening i love to hear it so let us know if you have questions give us a thumbs up subscribe to the channel ask us all your questions in the comments and we'd love to engage with you and we'll see you next time on all about the garden uh, i so thought that was actually gonna get crushed <laughs> let me see it It's crazy. I mean, it's scratched up, but it's not crushed.